Don't ever do that again. Welcome back. Tonight, we're still doing our best to get it right. But Todd came and talked to us about the negative effects of alcohol. And man, if you missed that, I would really encourage you to go out and replay that. Because we learned some stuff tonight about what God wants to do with our mind and connect us to the sanctuary. Ooh, some good stuff. Go check out the replay. But coming at us now, we got somebody else who's going to talk to us about a special day. What should we do on this day? Is it still relative? What kind of activities? What's happening with this day? What's all the fuss about this day? Let's put our hands together for someone we've been waiting for for a long time. She's here with us tonight, Sister Kita! <laughs> We've all been there. Come on with it. I was nervous. I'm the most nervous person out of everybody. I don't. Um, I'm a little introvert. But you're a family. Look, you're a family. Like, I stutter and the whole nine. It's okay. I'm like, we're all in her stutter. I was nervous up there, too. To be honest with you. Real bad. Okay, I guess we're going to start with the Bible text. Um, I mean, our, our famous text from Exodus 20, verses 8 through 11, stating that, you know, remember the Sabbath day, keep it holy. And then I have, let me read the other text. Mark chapter 2, verses. Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. And then Leviticus. Twenty three verses three. There are six days when you may work, but the seventh day is, is the day of the Sabbath rest, a day sacredly assembled. You are not to do any work wherever you live. It is a, it is a Sabbath to the Lord. And then Genesis 2, verses 3. Genesis 2 3. Mm -hmm. Did you read it already? Hold on, no, that's not accurate. Hold on. I mean, it's pretty much saying the same thing. But the seventh day, God had finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from all his work. Then he blessed the seventh day and made it holy. And because on this, he rested from all work of creating that he had done. 
All right, so I just wanted to um, make a list of what are some things, some activities that you guys think that is appropriate on the Sabbath, mm -hmm. such as like going for a walk in the park, passing out literature, etc. So I want to hear from you guys what do you feel as though is appropriate on the Sabbath, like activities. Like appropriate for how we grew up. Oh, you, we like can. church, church, yeah. Um, okay, driving, driving, right, right, is appropriate. Driving, because <laughs> we have to get this one. Okay, okay. <laughs> and uh, you guys, you mean activity, going. like activity, post, church. I'm saying like, okay, yeah, post church. Okay, post church. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> As well, like, well, like going to the park. Yeah, anything right. like going to the park. That's like, passing out um, literature. Right. What about fellowship? Yeah. With other lunch, same belief. after taking a but, nap. What about the cup? okay? I don't like, know. Okay, sleeping. I was just saying sleeping. Okay, <laughs> and sleeping, resting, rest taking a nap. Rest 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 oh no, somebody's. Oh, no. Now, what are some, some things that are considered a <laughs> no, taboo? The sleep. list for a taboo. I mean, what are the things that you consist of a taboo on a Sabbath? I'm sure that is longer. Not watching veggie. I love it. I uh, yeah. <laughs> Buying, <laughs> cooking, ironing, washing, anything is work. work. Outside anything of your work. normal routine. Yes. That's no what you're saying. Yeah. Outside yeah. of your yeah. normal routine. Oh, right. So oh, going, right. to, going to a restaurant on the Sabbath, mm -hmm. is that considered a table? I mean, well, yes. if, I mean, if we're talking about routines, then some people don't eat out during the week. Mm -hmm. So technically, that wouldn't be... Outside, I mean, or yeah. Because it's not something. Oh, no, they pay, they pay for it in advance and they go out to eat. That's not. That's not right. But how often oh, do you do that? Thursday when I know I want to eat on Saturday. Yeah. That's not. Well, you can say. Ironing my clothes. Okay, ironing your clothes. Everything that you normally do on your regular six yes. days, you don't do on the Sabbath. Right. 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 Yeah. Is that we don't do or are we talking we can't do? Yeah, we're, we're saying don't do we can slash don't. Uh, should. What's a, what's, a tab, what's a taboo in that Venice that we oh, shouldn't? Okay. okay. Yeah. You shouldn't be yeah. going to work. Okay. Nursing. So, okay. so we're not supposed to iron our clothes? Nope. That's work. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Preparation for the Sabbath. Really? Like, no, yeah, on Friday. Friday. Yeah. 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 on Thursday. Yeah. 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 And you're not supposed to cook. Somebody told me I've prepared my kids' breakfast. Oh, you should be preparing breakfast on the Sabbath. So what you about to eat? I mean, I said, my kids get a big meal on the Sabbath. They look forward to the Sabbath because they know I'm going to give them a big meal. You shouldn't cook on the Sabbath. That's what I was told. So that's wrong. Yeah. That's wrong. Yeah. And yeah. ironing yeah. is wrong. Yeah. If you, if you yeah. like West Indies, they told us cooking was wrong. You better not be and cooking. No. Cook. And you better not be cooking. Cook. 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 On the Sabbath. And you better not be cooking. My mom's, I guess you can call her her older okay. friend, who's probably like a generation and a half older. Like a whole different, like I'm talking like she was born in like the 40s. Like, wow. That's wow. my mom. Yeah. She does not take the shower until oh. the Friday. Oh. Mm -mm. Right before the Sabbath. Wait, what is she? No, 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 listen. Like, she washes up, but she doesn't take, like, a full on shower. Because Sister White said that's what Sister White said. She did say that. She did say not to take your bath. Finish, 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 because it's working, you know, back in the day they what? had to get the wood and stuff. She said, do not take your shower. Now, and so I'm paraphrasing. Do not wash on the Sabbath. What's wrong with showering on the other days, though? That's what Sister White said. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Sister White said. That's what Sister White said. I've read that. But she know, we know why she said it. Why she they, said you got to think about it. Oh, because they had to go. Yeah, they had to go. 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 Labor. 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 So, but people take that. But this is a different time frame. Yeah, so, does it still apply? But 
No, 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 it doesn't. No, it doesn't. The same thing. Same thing. The same thing. On the side. Okay, I'm gonna say the same thing. Same thing with iron. Giving an example of one thing. Okay, I'm gonna say. Wait, hold on. Let's move forward. The kid had that thing. And you bet that be wrinkle going up to yeah, church either. I, I, I know somebody who went to church with a wrinkle dress because she said I wasn't supposed to iron on the Sabbath. Why did she iron on Friday? She said she, she was like busy. She said was busy. But there's so much to iron. But that's what she got caught up on Friday. She was iron. <laughs> they also said, and this is what I'm gonna bring out. They said, work, sex is work. You should not have sex with sex. It's work. That's what I heard. Now I don't know. I ain't even. Really but, so what are we discussing? Are we discussing taboos, taboos as opposed to taboos. what's actually sinful? That's simple. Shouldn't be she be she we just she a list of so we just a list of taboos. That's a taboo. Yeah, so yeah, what I've heard. Just a list of taboos. That's a taboo. Watching any kind of television that these things well, they got, they got Jesus Let's talk about what we do now. TV. Talk about what we always heard. Oh, yeah, yeah what we heard. Cleaning, ironing, washing, your washing, body. Eating out. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Any, you know, kind of, any kind of recreational activity like basketball, swimming. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing, Nothing you think right. is That's fun, you can do. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> fun. Nothing fun. Those are the taboos that I grew up with. Yeah, that and we also heard of. Lost the cartoon. Also practicing. On the Sabbath. You be practicing. Yes. That oh, you yes, they did. Practice that. on the Sabbath. That's work. You got to do it Thursday wow. for Saturday morning. Wow. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. I can't sing to Jesus. So, no, so you feel those, like communion practice a little bit. No, no, none of that. No, no, none of it. No, 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 you need to work without getting paid. If you don't be okay, 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 okay. You okay. So, about that, huh? No, I didn't. So, so, <laughs> so then wouldn't that, wouldn't that apply to like all the other fields that people don't go into because they're Adventists, like football and basketball? Like, okay, if you're going to be a professional football player, okay, I'll play Saturday, but you don't pay me that day. Mm. Yes, yeah, see, that's the that same thing. But it's recreational, recreational fun, right? But you have But it's the same it's thing. Job. It's the same it's thing. Job. It's a job. It's the same exact thing. But you're helping people. You're helping people in the medical yeah, that's, field. I'm helping so people God give you a pass on that. All right. So I'm going to read the I'm gonna read the Bible text and then I'm going to talk about it a little bit more. Okay. Well, come on with it. All right. So um, Mark 3 verses, um, I mean, chapter 3 verses 1 through 6. It states, um, Jesus heals on the Sabbath. Uh oh. So that means you can do the medical oh, thing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so oh, oh, oh. That's what I was saying. Okay, okay. One through six. So, all right. Another time Jesus went to the synagogue, and a man with a shriveled up hand was there. And some of them were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus, so they watched him closely to see if he would heal on the Sabbath. And Jesus said to the man with the shriveled up hand, Stand up in front of everyone. And then Jesus asked them, which is lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil, mm-hmm. to save life or to kill. Mm-hmm. But they remained silent. And he looked around at them in anger and deeply distressed at their stubborn hearts and said to man, Stretch out your hand. And he stretched it out, and his hand was completely restored. Um, then the Pharisees went out and began to plot with the paradigms um, how they might kill Jesus. So that's my biblical text. So you saying that you support that in the medical field? I personally do. So, 
for it. Okay, hold on. I mean, I'm gonna give you my input. I'm gonna give you that. All right, so, I mean, if there was a shortage of nurses in the medical field, and my sisters is need is needed, why not? I don't see an issue with it. Um, you gonna get paid? No, no, no. Okay, so if I okay. Um, and some I'm hospital thinking, policies, thinking, check this out, I'm and some hospital because... policies is mandatory yes. that you work every other week. And so what do yes. you do in that situation? If you an Adventist, you say you're going to stand up for this habit. But, but if it's mandatory, this is a part of your job. So you don't get paid. So you find a Okay, okay. What if, what if I choose to, to work? The, right. the, what I, the day that I get paid on a Sabbath, I can just give that back to the church. Is that still, they say that all like, the time? Is that still, I don't is that still, that still, but honestly, I don't. I I have an issue with that because I don't. I don't feel like it's a sin or it's wrong to work on a Sabbath in the medical field only. That's it. Like, no, I, don't, no, I, no, I don't feel like it's an issue. But you can't. It's, okay, in a life or death situation. Like, okay, a doctor that's on call for 24 hours, mm. he received a call. He's in church. He's a seven-day Adventist. He received a call. That's different. And key it's an emergency doctor. situation. Right. Okay, but what are nurses doing? We Helping maintain doctor, life. But you can pay. Right. Okay, okay, but I don't But I don't have to I don't have to use that money to pay my bills. They all say that. But I'm just saying, I don't have to. <laughs> they all say it, though. They all say, I'm giving my... Okay, so okay, ain't so nobody giving a check right back to the church. So we'll let, <laughs> we'll let talk no. unless you yeah. let talk unless they Okay, but we, we, we have a nurse that has been but working for years that's in the lab. He's not working on Sabbath. I know he's not, but I'm just saying, I'm going to give him his. Okay. Okay. Listen, guys. Listen. 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 Okay. Todd's been a nurse for how many years? Twenty-seven. Oh, almost thirty. Yeah, you've been an Adventist that long. Yes. So. No, yeah. I've been Adventist all my life. Oh. Okay. So <laughs> all your nursing career, you've been Adventist. You should have been Okay. Okay. Um, when I first started out my career, I let them know right up front what they said I work. And so the the day that they gave me was um how, how does it go Thursday to Sunday and I always had Saturdays Friday and Saturday Saturdays off okay. and they loved it because the most ones people too as well right? yes and most people yes that's right and most people wanted Sundays off but I covered their Sunday okay mm -hmm. now this job that I'm with for 18 years mm -hmm. I made it known up front I said I do not work on Sabbath I will not work on Sabbath. And the lady had a fit, so she said, I want you in my office. So I went to her office. She said, sit down. Why? She said, you explain to me why you don't work on Sabbath. And I broke it down, and she said, at the end, and, you know, I was really scared. She said, at the end, she said, well, you know what? I'm with you. And as long as you're with my company, I put it in your contract. You would no longer have to work on Sabbath. And for 18 years, they've honored that, that, that contract. And there are other Adventists that have come to the job. They didn't get that same contract because they did not make it known at the very beginning. Mm. So if you, if you stand up for God, he's going to make sure that he, he's going to carry you all the way through. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay? And, and, and Straight up. I'm going to say this. You know this as well as me. I wasn't in the medical field. I went through that mm -hmm. on my job mm -hmm. 18 years ago. When they wanted me, to, when I finished school, they wanted me to take a test on the cell. And I wouldn't take the test on the cell. Mm -hmm. And from that day forward, I have not worked on self. I stopped working on self before I became a Sunday Adventist. Another but thing is too. what Keita's saying that that's good. Okay. That's good. Okay. Right. But according to the Bible, right. mm -hmm. I don't have to do that. Yes. Is that what you're saying? That that's great that you made that choice. And I'm sure God is pleased with you. However, there is an exception. There is an allowance in the Bible because I am healing on the Sabbath, because I am doing good on the Sabbath, that God says, yeah, okay, well, if you choose to, that's fine, but if you choose to work as well, that's also fine. I think, I think it also depends on the intention, because, uh, because you could that's be it. a nurse, and you that, could be like, about. oh, I'm that at Vincent, I'm allowed to work on Sabbath, but you might not be thinking about it as, okay, today's the Sabbath. Wow. I'm really here to help people. You know what I mean? You could be like, oh, this is an extra 12 hours I get on my check. You know what I mean? It, I think it's intention, too. 
Because even if you have that... <laughs> Can I do that with any job? That, that, that truth I'm here, man. You just just bought this way where you're hard at. I'm going to drive this bus the best I can to make sure people get from where they need to go. I want to make sure that the, this generator stays on down at the electricity house so people can have light and worship in their churches. I'm gonna, my intention is to help. I'm going to check these groceries because that poor lady over there needs food in her house. Right? Couldn't everybody see but it? I'm, but we're talking specifically about that verse right there. We're Doing God good. Was, right. We're talking about healing. healing. That's what you but he also says it's lawful to do good. Um, so. There's yeah, another text that says it's lawful to because the, the gospel's just See, they just say it a different way. The other gospel says it's not lawful to do good, to get the ox out of the ditch mm-hmm. on the Sabbath. Mm-hmm. So now you have people that are working in the hospitals that are the administrators, exactly. that work at the front desk, that are administrators. They're not healing people. Yeah. They're going in and they're facilitating. looking at the charts. Right, and again, yeah. anybody yeah. can yeah. say that. That's it. Because the guy yeah. that drives the supplies is facilitating the charts. Police officers, firemen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, I mean, I see guys at church at Sabbath. I was like, dude, where you come from? Work? He's in his fireman uniform. Mm-hmm. He's in his police uniform. Or they're going off to work. They're they're praying worship. We lift our hands. And, oh, gotta go, guys. I gotta go to work. I'm in uniform. And nobody says anything about it. So I mean, it's like, mm. I guess my question is, if everybody else has to be tested with this. And has to decide whether or not their livelihood is going to be taken away or kept based on the Sabbath. How come the medical professionals and the policemen and elements don't have to face that same test? Aren't the commandments for everybody? God is our doctor. Mm-hmm. Not you. So we might be. God is our doctor. You out here in the middle of the floor choking to death. Do we have a doctor or nurse in the house? No, God is here. Uh, I'm on duty. I don't work on Sabbath. That's not Sunday yet. Don't take the job. No, no, no. But in, 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 in seriousness, if there was an emergency, yeah, I would, I would render the services. Situation. That's, that's, that's different. So you would go to work if it was an emergency. If it was an emergency and you're scheduled for Sabbath, I, you would say, no, I'm sorry, I can't do that. I pref- okay. No, I'm, I'm no. just saying up front, I prefer not to work on the Sabbath. But okay. in emergency situation cases, I will work. I am okay. willing. But it's not an emergency. But what if it's saying, Peter, no, you're scheduled. Yeah, what if it's mandatory? If it's mandatory. You're going to take it, though. You're scheduled. This is your schedule. Yeah. I want to present the fact that, you know, the Sabbath. Yes, and we heard that. We day. took that all in consideration. Yeah. However, your yeah, schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, I'm coloring I mean, yeah. honestly, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, it's hard. It's, it's, a, it's, a, hard it's, hard a, hard it's a personal, it's a personal it's a choice like, that yeah, everybody has to make. But the commandments aren't personal. You should. You better take it personal. You no, I guess you do, do, but it's not like God is. It's but, not like okay, God. Okay, is it a sin? Is it a sin? Is it a sin? Well, that's the question we have to ask. Is it a sin for me to work? Is it a sin for me to work as a nurse on the Sabbath? Is it a sin? That's the question we have to ask. That's between you and God. That's like, like, all right, it's a personal Okay, so that's but It can't be a sin. Well, no, I'm saying between her and God's the work, but really, I'm saying it's not, she's not right. For somebody in the medical field to say, this is my past because I'm in the medical field. No. I'm not using it as a past, but I'm just saying. Majority. The, the, <laughs> the, uh, majority. Uh, Peter, you just yeah. said you would give your okay, money. I would, I, I would. The money you make, they all say that. Okay. I've heard that in the church yeah. for years. Yeah. Okay. You know they be keeping well, I'm money. Going, they don't have to pay me for that day. Come on now. You ain't going to work on no family to be paid. Well, even if you're not, the Bible doesn't say, remember the Sabbath day to keep you holy and not get not, paid. It says, ooh, thou shalt not do it. It says work. not work. But she said, on in the, the medical Sabbath. field, they healing. They they helping people. Now, you just said that. But the job is work, period. Right? I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, the job is work. Like, but she's healing and, and helping labor. people. But it says work and labor. She's helping. The Bible says it's all right to do good on the Sabbath. 
Right. So, to do good is different than working. Okay, what about... She's not working, she's helping. We were talking about this. What about pastors? Do pastors get paid? Pastors get paid. Yeah, they get paid on the Sabbath. Oh, let's not talk about me. They get paid. Oh, oh, they get paid. 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 They ain't okay. preaching up there for nothing. I'm talking about the pastor. Yeah. He said he's going to get paid. No, he's on salary. So he's not paid. He's not paid. He's not paid. But she wants to. But that's his own salary. He's not paid. 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 I know, but nurses are not paid. I know. They really are. Right, but nurses are not paid. Nurses are not paid. They're not called to do what a pastor does. But so they call to help people. Yeah, the 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 Wait, hold on. Just two minutes. Hold on. Another thing, two nurses get time off. Pastors don't. With your music. You tell that to Pastor Thomas. They don't they don't he get a Tuesday off. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Because we're talking about the difference between a career and a calling. Okay. Let's calm it down. I'm sorry, y'all, in the periscope. Let's, yes, I'm sorry, please, I didn't mean to offend nobody. Please, please. Come on, please. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. I'm sorry. Let's calm down. Go on. I mean, um, I did a mini survey. Because most of my friends are nurses. So I just sent out a quick text and um, stating, you know, I did ever work on the Sabbath. And I was like, if not, um, would you work if it was mandatory or would you oppose? And how do you personally feel about working on the Sabbath? All my friends stated that they've worked on the Sabbath. I mean, not saying that it's okay, but they worked on the Sabbath. Um, one at the time I actually texted, she was like, I'm currently at work as a matter of fact. No, 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 listen, no, no, no. Her background, and from her background now, she's a single parent. She's pursuing her master's as a nurse practitioner. With that being said, you got to pay out of your pocket for your, for your, you know, for your degree, for bachelor's and master's. She's coming out of her pocket. She does, she has to pay for this. Then she's a single parent. She's not getting any help from her father. I mean, you know, the father of her child. So what does she do? She working. So what does she do to maintain? You know, she's, as a matter of fact, she's working two jobs. One job is not even good enough. She's working two jobs as a nurse. So, you know, to make ends meet, what does she do in this situation? But couldn't the, anybody see that? I mean, if the if the well, principle is oh not to work on Sabbath, mm -hmm. it's just it's just one of those things. It just is what it is. Pastor okay. James said to me uh, a while ago. If you stand up for God, God has to show and prove it. Okay. Period. So if you have the mentality like I'm gonna like the commandment is the principle is I'm not I can't work on the Sabbath no matter the situation. I can't work on the Sabbath. God will make provisions for you because his name has been thrown out. So he has to show up and show you you get what I'm saying? Let me tell you yeah. one thing. I'm a single parent and that they that lady, the director of my center, she knew when she hired me. She mm. said, You ain't have to worry about it. We don't have to work on a Saturday. Five years later, mm. she wants us to go to meetings and do this. And I said, no. She said, what do you mean, no? Mm. I had to take a stand. Mm. Man, yeah. I said, I'm not going to do it. And I had to go to the pastor. He had to write a Where letter saying, you know, we can take it. She wrote a letter and church. brought it to the church. Mm. 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 Wow. That's she terrible. brought the letter to the church. And mind you, I'm a single parent. Mm -hmm. She was trying to threaten mm -hmm. me. Right, of your livelihood. Yeah. Of my yeah. job yeah. because yeah. I wouldn't go to a meeting yeah. and stuff she like that. Was she a Yeah, she was one. Those are the main ones. Two. She was the first day. Huh? She was the first day. First day lady to always talk about God. And always talk. She threatened my job. And I had four kids. I said, well, God, that's how I was going to be. I said, I'm not going to do it. Mm. Character, so but yeah, most of them do. She said, well, you, I, I come to, I go out to work on Sunday. I said, that's you. She threatened me and I had to stand up. And I said, well, God, you know, I got these kids and God made a way. And guess what? Mm. That woman helped me get the job that I have today. Wow. Her business folded. Not because, I'm not saying because she was messing with me. Mm -hmm. Because she was threatening, threatening my job. Mm. This is the director. 
Mm-hmm. And God turned it around. But I relied on him. So I'm not saying for your friend that is wrong. I can't make no judgment on your mm-hmm. friend. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I had kids. I had mm-hmm. three kids. Mm-hmm. Single parent. I had to stand up. And, I, and it was scary. <clears throat> but I did. I said, I'm not doing it. Mm-hmm. No? I mean, I got to say, what I got to say is something yeah. like Gary mentioned this a, a while back. And that is a level of trust and faith in God. Mm-hmm. Knowing that God, if he put it there for you, he's going to provide. So when we take stuff upon ourselves and go the extra miles, we we sit there and we don't trust God. God ain't going to do it. Mm-hmm. We got to do it for ourselves. Mm-hmm. Whether we got children or whatever, God is the one that is the resource mm-hmm. behind everything. Yeah. He's going to make a way. Regardless, you just got to have faith and belief and step out there and trust that he's going to make a way. But when we try to do it in our own, in our own uh, hands and our own mindset, we'll forever be uh, fighting about. Did you have a comment? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is a question. What is the purpose? To keep it holy. Like, good question. Great question. Let me take it back. It's a great question. Why did God rest? Was there a need? Was he tired? What was the no. purpose of God no. resting? It was really it was for us. It was for us. It says, what is the purpose for us? It says that, that, that so it's community. Made community. The Sabbath was made for man. Yeah, I gave you two. What, what was the text? I think it was Mark 2, verses 27. Okay. Okay, six days God made the heaven and earth. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And the seventh day he rested. If we think of an artist, an artist creates something. He designs something. Once he's finished, what does he do? He steps back. And he's in awe. Mm-hmm. He's in amazement. Mm-hmm. He cherishes it. Mm-hmm. It's like this is this is my creation. This yeah. is mine. Mm-hmm. Not only that. But those that surround him are in awe of what he has created. And that's and now they worship that. So now God has set aside a day, a holy day, to remember mm-hmm. him and what he has done. Not just only what he has created, but what he has done in our life. Mm-hmm. Now we have to understand that that is the only commandment that he said, remember. Mm-hmm. And everything else thou shalt. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's a must. You have to. But he said, remember, because there is going to come a time that we will forget. Mm-hmm. We will forget the struggle. We forget. Just the same way like when the uh, when Moses brought out the Israelites. And then now they forgot, yeah. you know, what he has done. And every time they hit a trial, they forgot. And you know what I mean? That several was a reminder. Remember what I've done for you. Remember what I've done for you. We have to understand that. <laughs> The things in this world are all distraction for what God wants us to go through, whether it's work, whether it's um, hanging out, whatever it might be. It's just a distraction. But the other part, like he stated, it's all about trust. The Lord stated in his word, if we stand before man, he will stand in front of his father before us. If we don't stand, we have to understand that we are leading others astray. Mm. When I did school at Everest, it was for me to pick a class on a Friday. And I said, I can't, because I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. It was an evening class. They pulled me to the office and said, no, that can't be, because I have another guy. Uh-oh. Mm. Come on. That's an Adventist. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he's a Adventist. That's what he says. I think he's an Adventist. Yeah, it's a struggle. Mm. And he, he goes, he goes to, say, goes to church. And I was like, huh? And I was like, well, I don't know who he is, but I know what I believe in and I know what is the rule. I know what's the law. So he sat me down with the individual. The individual was a director. The director goes, he works. Wow. You know what I mean? He goes, I'm not going to say the church, but I mean, he goes to Decatur. The person goes to Decatur. And when that... You know I me mean? now it was to find out who's who who is the truth and who's the way you know what i mean so i had to stand up for what my belief what the bible states and right there it was like a bible study 
You know what I mean? So for me, it was new because I was like a new Adventist. Mm -hmm. When someone that has been an Adventist for so many years, Mm -hmm. so it was kind of hard. But because I stood for God, Mm -hmm. the Bible also said that the Holy Spirit will will bring back things to remember. Even things that you don't think that you that was in your mind, you know what I mean? The Holy Spirit remember will remind you of these things. Mm -hmm. And I was saying things that I didn't even think that I knew. Mm -hmm. But at the end of it, God stood for me. Mm -hmm. That I said, no, I just can't. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know how that guy felt. Mm-hmm. But I guarantee you this, I know the Lord working his heart to maybe convict and say, well, maybe I have some things to change mm-hmm. in my belief system. Mm-hmm. So the only the thing that we have to do and understand is what is the purpose? What is God is trying to do? Yes, it is it is good to do good on the Sabbath. What kind of good? Mm-hmm. It is out of selfishness? Mm-hmm. Or it is or is it whatever I do is pointing to the Lord? Mm-hmm. That's 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 key, you know. Because if it points to God, then whether I get paid, I get nothing. If I get a dime, if I get man, thank you, praise the Lord, I'm good with that. Mm. You know what I mean? But is it guaranteed that you need to show my face? Can you do it without me? Is it possible if you can call Tim, Tom, John? No, I need you. Why is it that you need me? Can you give me ten minutes? Let me go and pray to my God and say, Lord, find a way. Be like Daniel. Mm. What did Daniel do? See, those are the things that we have to, but in order to be there, we have to have that relationship with Christ to fall on those things. The truth. Truth is my fault. Hey, hey truth. Kita, truth. Okay. Kita, okay. Kita, I want to uh, say one more thing about the Sabbath. You, you know, we did the medical thing. You know, I was almost put in jail because I was trying to keep the Sabbath in the Marine Corps. And in the military, it's, it's, it's bar none, whether you can work there or not. And, uh, what, and I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I just want to tell you that uh, the 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 gunnery sergeant that I was with was a Seventh Day Adventist, and he's the one that helped me get out. We had to go in front of the uh, the uh, was uh, the JAG Judge Advocate General, mm-hmm. and uh, and what it came down to was that during the time of war, I mean during the time of peace, since we're at peace soon in in seventy seven, that we can worship whatever religion we want to, but during the time of war we cannot. Mm-hmm. So because of the fact that it was in the time of peace. I was able to have worship. And this guy picked me up for about 18 months while I was in Okinawa. And I was the only guy in my unit that had to sign us off. Because in, in, in Okinawa, you work from, um, what is it? You, you uh, The only day you have off is uh, Sunday. Uh, and you work on the Sabbath. Wow. But I had the Sabbath off. And I came back and worked on Sunday. Mm. Because I stood for God. That's and the guy did it for me. And the colonel said to me, he said, if you ever mess up, I'm going to catch you. And he never caught me. Mm. Never caught me. So what is our counsel to the uh, nurses? What is our counsel to the doctors and the policemen uh, and the emergency workers? Uh, yeah. Because Desi brought up a good point. If everybody kept the Sabbath, I was just how can our say world that. function? That's what I was just going to say. Mm. If everybody kept I mean, do you believe it's God's will that everybody keeps the Sabbath? Absolutely. Hold mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, if they did, how would our world function? Wouldn't it be like volunteer Sabbath? Mm-hmm. Like, because obviously if you have like, <laughs> it wouldn't be like it work. It wouldn't be like work. But yeah, yeah but I'm saying if you like work. you volunteer to go into whatever hospital, so for I think the Sabbath, Sabbath then it becomes service. It becomes a service instead of work. work. Yes, yeah, that's what. Would, yeah, it becomes yeah. service. Yeah, a body citizen. Yeah. Because if you if you, if you study it historically, you know, back in the day, there was a day Sabbath. Everybody, everything shut down. Mm-hmm. I mean, Passover, everything shut down because everybody was doing the same thing, mm-hmm. pretty much. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, they are, they had to deal, deal with those who were sick. But obviously, you understand that. But most mm-hmm. commerce and everything worldwide right. shut down. Mm-hmm. But as time progressed, and obviously. Once the change became from Sabbath sacredness, that began to change, and so you saw more commerce now happening and taking place. Mm-hmm. So, but what would be our counsel to those? Because that is a that is a a a uh, division within the church about nurses, especially nurses. That because to me, huh? I have a question. But let me let me just finish this thought. To me, I'm like 
I've been sitting in their houses, and I'm like, and you know, pastors' houses. I'm like, where's your, where's your wife? Oh, she's at work. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, really? Or I've actually seen them leaving out of the house to go to work. Everybody sitting around having dinner. Okay. So I'm just like, wow. Why are they not challenged with that issue? I mean, because if I was if, if if I was looking to go into a profession, I'd probably pick nursing. You know why? Because I ain't never got worried about the salary. Maybe I'll be a policeman. Whoa. Maybe I'll be a fireman. Do what you want. I don't have to worry about. I mean, I don't have to worry about it. About those firefighters. That's a test. I don't have to. That's a test. Because I'm coming to you. I promise you. You guys have heard me say, you're faced with livelihood. You don't work, you're fired. Have you been faced with that? Have you been faced with having to pay your mortgage, your car note, your bills, and eat, or your job because of the Sabbath? Mm-hmm. If you haven't been faced with that, live long enough, you will. Okay, my thing is, is that, and I'm not saying either way other, the, that profession never has to face that. They never have to face that. They never have to go in and think about having a conversation. You, you know when you go for a job interview, you're trying to think in your mind, okay, I'm going to bring this thing in that. But I'm, they, I'm gonna bring it up. they don't have to face that, but they have to face something else on the inside because, yeah, you're working on the Sabbath. But for me personally, I'm like, oh, man, I got to, I'm working but, on the Sabbath. But that's it's you, like, but not to the person who says, scripturally, I'm fine. Yeah, but I, I'm fine, saying, scripturally. But they, also, they also have to see more past that, I think. Not because if they don't think it's wrong. But Not if they don't feel it's a sin. Surface, it's it's it, like Keita said, I was joking with her and, and ragging her. If she said if it's a service in her heart, it's not working. It's a service to God helping people, I guess. You know, but I'm saying that's what she, Yo, that's one, what they One of my friends that is a nurse, he's also a pastor um, child as well. He um, stated it. Um, I've had to work on the Sabbath before, and I personally feel that as a nurse, it is okay to work on the Sabbath. If you have the opportunity to go to church instead and praise God, that's been great. But if something, if sometimes your job requires you to work on the Sabbath, the Sabbath day shift, I mean, Saturday shift, I don't feel that God will look down on you for it. You can always turn your shift into your own service and minister to others through what you do. I don't feel this applies to every career, but the medical field is something beneficial to the health of others, and that's what God wants. <coughs> After all, we we are extending the healing ministry of Christ, and that is the theme for Florida Hospital. <laughs> that's the theme, extending, um, you know, the healing ministry to Christ, and it is a Seventh-day Adventist um, hospital, and they have seven hospitals throughout. And I went to the college, yeah. so they that's support right. Seven Day Adventists. Yeah. But that's Seven Day Adventist you know, policy. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. that is the yeah, Seventh Day yeah, Bible. Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. That means the Seven Day Adventist policy. The yeah. policy. Yeah. The policy. Yeah. The policy. Yeah. That's what I'm, that's I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah. It's a Seven Day Adventist yeah. hospital. Yeah. The policies are voted on Time by Seven Day Adventists. Yo, sweet up, baby. Oh, it was about the Adventist hospital. Okay. Oh wow, it was on time. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was wondering what their policy was because, policy. of course, they have to be open yeah. when you look at yeah. Right, right, right. Patient, so right, exactly. Yeah, you don't you don't shut down the hospital because it's yeah. the Sabbath. Yeah. Right. People get sick on the Sabbath. Lama people Lama. get sick. Well, people so then what does the Adventist policy say? Everybody that's in here on Sabbath, you're not getting paid. It's strictly service. Uh, if you don't work at this hospital, <laughs> this is what our policy is because of the Sabbath. How many people were there? It, it wouldn't oh. be an issue if they're on salary. If you're on salary, that's not an issue. Yeah, but that, that, that they are still know. included. Yeah, it's, 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 it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter whether it's salary or not. Here's the reason why. It's because they're now, even though you're not getting paid, you're still getting paid. You think about it. Yeah, so now your dependency <laughs> now is not on God. Your dependency now is on the funds that you're receiving. That's true. That's, that's what your dependency is on. True. You know what I mean? It's, it's like saying, you know what I mean? We worship the creation, but we don't worship the creator who created that. That's true. You know what I mean? So it's kind of backwards, I would, you know what I mean? I would say. But it, it, still fall, it still falls under the trust. And then that's another issue. Because just like churches, if one church starts doing something and people flock to it, another church is going to start doing it because that church does it. 
Oh, well, Emmanuel is doing it. You know what I mean? They're getting a lot of people coming in. So then guess what? Another church wants to spawn and do it, but then guess what? They take it a notch higher. And then it keeps rising, it keeps rising. So then now it becomes a, proof, a step of approval because it's another Seventh-day Adventist church. You know what I mean? That's, you know what I mean? So it's because it's a Seventh-day Adventist hospital. Then I create another seven day, I start another seven day Adventist hospital, then I will do what the other seven day Adventist hospital do. But I may add something else to her. I may add a twist that is fine because it's a seven day Adventist hospital. So who is the one to shed that 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 true light? Who's the one to stand and say, No, I'm not going to follow that church? Just because it's Seventh Day Adventist Church, I'm gonna follow what the Bible states from Genesis to Revelation, point blank. Because then that's what we're doing. We're, we're, what we're doing is we're, we're we are following what policy says. We are following what man says, mm -hmm. but no mm -hmm. one is saying what God said. And then when it God says, well, he didn't really mean it that way. And then we start well, watering down. Well, well, well. You know, so but then that's the thing. How are you yeah. supposed to what? I mean, really, in the medical field, are we going to... You can heal on the Sabbath. Like, what do, do, what do you take the What do you take from that? Like, it's like, that. those are the words. Healing is okay on the side. That's because he did. Okay, he let's go what back. He do. Let's go back to what he said. Mm -hmm. What if everybody has the day off? Sabbath, no work, what's what? You're walking, you know what I mean? You still have your page or whatever the case might be. Hey, I need you because so-and-so is sick. Oh, can you go do it? It's a volunteer yeah, service. Yeah. You do it. That's your job, mm -hmm. in a sense, because that's, no, let me take that back. That's that is your true. gift. Yeah. That is your talent that the Lord has blessed you with. Right, right. So you go and you and you heal and you, you mosey daisy and go, you move along. You didn't get paid. Mm -hmm. Do the service. That's all it is. If I walk in a building and a person has no light, I'm an electrician, what is the problem? Man, my light just went out. Okay, let me go check your breaker. Mm -hmm. Boom, turn on the breaker. The there you go. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? He's able to go about his business. I'm able to go about my business. Which is the point now. Is, right? Yeah. But the yeah. difference now is now is that mm. Mm. I'm I'm a 24 hour electrician. So you call me and say, all right, yeah, I will be there. Um, just for me to show up, it's gonna be 85 dollars because it's an emergency call. Mm -hmm. That's different now. Yeah. Because then now it becomes fun. Mm -hmm. But if we go, like I said, if we go to that, to, to that yeah, scenario. Service. Service. It becomes just service. Yeah, it's, just service. They're, they're, it's just on call. You on call. Hey, I need you. What do you need? Somebody's house is burning out. We need the fire truck. Yeah. That's different. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's why people say they don't money. That's why. Yeah, that's why. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up. Because um, I see what time it is. Um, there's going to come a time when all of us are going to have to take a stand anyways. The true test. Or when all of us are going to have to take a stand anyways. The world test, whatever. So the blue law mm -hmm. definition, um, also known as Sunday laws, are laws designed to restrict and ban some some or all Sunday activities for religious reasons, particularly to pr um, promote the observance of a day of worship or rest. Mm -hmm. And that's when I mean the Sunday blue law. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be that's gonna become a test. I mean, that's going to be the test that everybody yeah. have to face. Yes. Regardless so that's of their test your, come. yeah, regardless of your profession or whatever. Mm -hmm. All that stuff don't even matter at the end of the day. That's none of that stuff don't matter. Mm -hmm. You know? Amen. Mm -hmm. So what do we do as, I mean, how do we prepare as Christians for this Sunday blue law? Stand up now. now. Yeah, stand up now. So yeah. 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 Start, start you start standing up right Yeah. 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 Exactly. yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so really see, gonna I count this. Oh, it's going to be a struggle. Yeah. Got to come out the hole. And then there's always going to be a challenge for those in the medical field. It's always going to be a challenge. And it's going to have to be a personal conviction for them. Because I don't think, because if you go and buy the Bible, then they're not supposed to. You know, they're not supposed to. See, but my struggle is when someone comes to me and says, listen, I'm, is it right or wrong? Is God pleased with me working So what would you say? You going to tell them it's wrong? I don't know. You're going to tell them what the Bible said, and then they're going to have my, to choose. My, my job was to... Well, I have to take it in contrast to... I mean, you have to take everything into consideration. Everything. Yes. 
that it's we're not discussing black and white. It's not black that and we're discussing white. Here. It's not black and white. It's not. Because if I tell somebody something is a sin, I'm talking about their salvation. Mm. Yeah. For the wages of sin is death. Mm-hmm. If I tell somebody something is sin, I'm now obligated to show them by the word of God why is where and how and why it's sin. Why? So if I say to you, listen, it's sinful for you to work on Sabbath, whether it's stopped or not, I have to very clearly be able to substantiate that from the word of God. Mm-hmm. I can't honestly say that it's, it's a sin. I can't honestly say that, though. Right. I can't honestly say that. Because for everybody, it could be a service. And I can't judge I can't judge their heart and say because Only you, God can. Because right. you work right. and you said you give your money, so I was just joking with you. You did Hey, that's between you and God. But if you say it's a service between you and God, who want me to say that she said that? She said she give her money back to God. So I think that's I, a good you know, point she so bring up. She made. <laughs> at some down. point, it's going to be Babylon come out. And everybody's going to have to stand that test. Right. I think for those who have stood it sooner and longer, we'll have an easier time mm-hmm. than those yeah. who just so that that big issue make that Sunday blue law. I know firemen who take vacation to have Sabbath off. Wow. Oh, wow. All of them, they wow. use their vacation to have Sabbath off. Wow. So they sacrifice mm-hmm. their vacation wow. to be off. On Saturday. Yes, he said, I'll take that's vacation great. every Saturday. That's so a lot, you know. That's but great. I think a lot of it goes back to the important question, which I don't know if we fully and answered. I already said it too. Is, um, I mean, well, we're going to let you finish yeah. up. And we can I mean, that was it. I was yeah. just going to um, show mm-hmm. a little video. I don't know how to connect it. Video, um, well, you got a little video? We got a. You guys see a video? You I mean, know. What you got? Ooh. What's this was a quote. This was a quote. She needs the like the regular this part. Yeah. Oh. That she Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 she needs the part. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Puma back in the day was not like that. Oh, Puma? Yeah, Puma was out in the 80s. It was like popular. Then it went down. Is that Puma? Yeah. Did you know Puma and Adidas were brothers and they had a dispute? Hi, guys. And they're from Germany? Oh. Huh? <laughs> oh, I do. I love facts. He does. Today's Sunday Law News report features an interesting news item that ought to make you sit up and pay close attention. Now, the massive encounter with the Pope. The family's coming from five continents for this special pilgrimage and some one-on-one time with the Bishop of Rome himself. This morning, the Pope is once again breaking from tradition. This time at an annual event for families where 150,000 families from 70 countries join the Pope in Rome to profess their faith. Now, for the first time, hundreds of children and elderly people are standing side by side with the Pope. 